No, wait. What? He lied. Bale's here. Or maybe he just added Palu and uh, Joker to his arsenal. Which is uh, probably... It's understandable. I think about it like solo, this. Solo mating Bale is a little hard. I was going to say, I think about it like this. I, Yeah, solo mating Bale is really hard. I think that's the best way to put it. This seems like a, a matchup Bale wouldn't mind too much, though, just by nature of being able to combo and edge guard pretty well, usually. You are going to get uh, hurt pretty bad by DK, though. I think Bale dies really early to the combos. And, like, uh, barring, like, maybe a bash with Ben, she also gets Joe pretty well by DK, too. Yeah, I, I, I kind of... This kind of almost reminiscent to me of like how Tweak and MKLL used to have a counter pick war between these two oh. characters just because how oh. strong they were with those characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> they just get the Spinning Kong immediately off the bat. Yeah, I think that's the kind of crazy thing about Chucky Kong as a whole. He's always looking to tie things up as soon as possible before his opponents can have more momentum than he does. Yeah. And then oh, oh no! Oh. Yeah, after that witch twist, unfortunately, it seems that Frog kind of burned the jump there on that one. Yeah, that's rough. And, it, and unfortunately, he tried to drift back, but he just didn't have enough of it. And that'll be huge for Chunky Kong, but I definitely see that Frog is trying to keep these combos up. Because, you know, the more you juggle DK, the less he's on the stage, and the bigger you are to finish him off. But Chunky is not going to go for that low recovery. I think his recovery has been pretty uh, pretty good in Spain, isn't it? I, I think Frog's actually... Oh... My... <laughs> wow, that was uh, game one. Never mind. <laughs> that was game Never one. Never mind anything I was going to say. Chunky Kong just sat him down so easily with that side B. That was so, so good use of the armor on that move. I think people just forget a lot of times that it does have armor like that. Wasn't that a custom in Smash 4? Like, the normal one didn't have armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The normal one didn't have armor. Like, yeah, a lot of these characters <laughs> basically got their custom moves from Smash 4. Like, like Shulk, he basically got Hyper Monados. It's the best you example. Embrace Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Monkey me. not gonna lie. Guilty pleasure. Anyway. Bayo is a uh, sorry. I'm gonna say Frog, not Bayo. Frog's back on PS2 with the Bayo. I, I nah. mean, this is a character that he's uh, put a lot of time into. Yeah. So even though he is using Palu and Joker now as well, I think he'd rather just try to stick this out with Bayo as Ooh, much as possible. That was an interesting pick up there for Chunky. He didn't get the Ding Dong, but that was really good to try to psych out Frog by holding on to him a little bit more. Just to see if he can catch him on the air dodge mix up on that one. What do you sound like for back air? Stage control? Yeah, Frog is not gonna go for that low recovery because he knows what Chunky Kong is looking for here. No which yeah, time. I think Chunky is actually reacting to Frog going off stage early to edge guard him. And he's picking his option after that. Yeah, Ooh, uh, the you're, just seeing, that, you're just seeing a lot of preemptive edge guards from Frog. Back here. Mm. There it is. That was good. Nice catch at the sweet spot. Yeah, I think that's what you have to really consider between these two here is how are they going to react to each other's recovery options. Specifically, we've been seeing from Frog being well aware of like, okay, I don't want to go for that low recovery because of DK's back here. Because Chunky Kong is not afraid to go for that. This one, he mixed it up. Though. He goes for a higher one. Understanding that, okay, you know what, Frog? He's doing an excellent job now just mixing those recoveries. And it's really keen against Chunky. Finally, with the back here, 24% of this man's man. It's not going to be that much here. But I do like the fact that Chunky may be looking for an opportunity to get a whiff punish on that huge heal slide. Unable to find it, it's Frog who gets this big combo and this big percentage here to Chunky Kong. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Just trying to keep DK in disadvantage as long as possible. And he, yeah, that's as long as you need because he just took the stock just like that. He carried yeah. him all the way to the blast zone with the forward air. That was brilliant yeah. play. Yeah, because if Chunky was able to regain neutral, especially with the punch charge up, he could have done really huge stuff on that stock. But Frog is continuing these combos, man. Percent is adding up. Great witch time punch. Oof. Double back air. Yeah, and he oh. gets that corner carry. Oh, no, Frog in a really oh, weird spot here from yeah. the ledge. Yeah. See, I'm, I, you wanted to try to carry him really far off stage and see if you can get like maybe a forwarder. 
in the blast zone, but Chungi actually has some decent DI on that. Yeah. Oh, waste for the wish time. Ding -dong. Yeah. And he's out of here, man. That wish time punish was so good. Yeah, it was. It's, the thing about that too, I think I mentioned it earlier. MK Leo and Tweak used to play this matchup in Grand Finals back in the day in Smash 4, and there's a reason why. You know that you want that that Bayo to carry DK up into the air. Don't let him land because the minute he does, there's a lot that DK can actually do because he grabs Bayo. He's more of a grappler. He doesn't have to worry about which time here. And I think Frog has a very fun understanding of how that works here. Gets the afterburner kick to the back air, charges up those guns. He's got Chunky at 171, and he reads the roll with the back air, and that is Frog taking game two. Nice, nice. Great stuff from Frog there. Oh uh, yeah, Chunky was really scary on that last stock, especially with the punch charged up and with how early he's been killing Bayo, especially off of like the cargo throw. It, a lot of things potentially could have gone wrong for Frog there, but great stuff yeah. to him for closing out that game. I gotta admit, I know that Sephiroth has a really great Victor animation screen, but so does Bayonetta. Like, I know a lot of people hate the character, but... She's got a great winning animation screen. You have to give her some credit. Guys. People don't hate Bayo anymore because she's, she's bad. not good anymore. <laughs> yeah, so, like, true. people actually root for Bayo now. It's funny how that works. Yeah, Bayo's victory music is great, and Bayo's music is great as well. All right, well, here, game three. Pivotal game between these two men. Can Chunky find an opportunity? You have like Bayonetta 3 is never coming out. <sighs> don't remind me, man. <laughs> Let me dream. Who was it? When did we see that trailer? That's 2017. 2017, oh. that's when the Switch came out and they talked about it. Okay, anyway. Yeah, it I'm wasn't sorry, even man. a real trailer either. It's just like Bayonetta 3. That was the same with Metroid Prime 4, speaking. dude. It wasn't a real trailer, it was the big ass 4. <laughs> that was the worst part about it. It was the huge 4. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Buddy, what game are we playing? Is what I would say. If we were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was just like. I don't even know how it works, honestly, because you can DI, but DI is so big that, like, it might be super hard for him to escape yeah. from dying to the top Yo, man, remember without, when, like, some crazy mix-ups. Remember when Plop played this matchup as Ridley, and he probably died because Ridley was too big to fall into Bale's combos? Yeah. <laughs> like, way back in the was, Invitational. Yeah, but it was also much different than, too. The combos are just, like, so much harder to escape, yeah. regardless. Oh, off but the that doesn't matter. Back air. Okay. Wow, you see? Oh no, the walkling. <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, Frog was such a big lead though here. 105, 27. There's a back there. I like that. Is it chunky though? Is it? Mm, okay, fair, fair, fair. But you know what? If, you, if you're Frog, you know what the name of the game here is, man. Keep this man off the stage and you're able to do it okay. right here. Gets the cross up, no backer. I like how he's waiting though. He's got to respect that shield. You know that Chunky Kong is no slouch when it comes to a backer out of shield option. He wants to force the low recovery oh. here, but unfortunately Chunky is able to land with that side B. You get some armor okay. off that back wow. He actually just kept swinging the back air. He's like, I, I know if Chunky Kong's fishing for this this throw right now. I I'm just gonna keep pressuring his shield. Yeah. It's still a great move for Bayonetta. Really strong, really strong with knockback, good pressure on shield. You can go after it with afterburner kick on certain percents. Oh, there's the hill slide punish. Ooh, oh, where are we mashing out for his life? Oh, good on Frog too. Look at that. He stops. Time. Yeah. This is good for Frog right now. Oh, he doesn't get the uh, right follow up there. Okay, back off stage. Yeah, man, look, I, know, I nice. definitely, if you've played melee, you make sure you want to press all the buttons on the controller the minute you see DK grab because you do not want to get caught up in there. That range on that downbeat and the back air to the go. This is what I talked about here, man. So many people I've been seeing it underestimate that against Chunky Kong, that he gets that down B and then he quickly turns that around to a back air more than half the time. And he's so smart that he understands that range is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, he has that sword hitbox on that back yeah. air. All right, bat within. Escapes that up air. Frog. I like oh. that attempt here with the witch time just because he knows how aggressive Chucky Kong can get when he sees you landing. Draws the punch though, but uh, yeah, Frog's not trying to let him utilize any of that. Oh, that's low. really risky from Frog. That's really risky. Okay. Yeah, but that was a really good recovery to snap the ledge. <gasps> He's, oh, got the trigger? Did you no mash out? Way. He barely got uh, away. He's still getting juggled. <laughs> oh, it didn't matter. 
Where are you it going? Did not Where are you, going? you escaped the cargo throw. Doesn't matter. You're still in disadvantage. You're still air dodging. Still panicking. And that was hard so too need... because yeah, you said it the best strides. He panicked. Like he, your option here is to try to get away from DK as much as possible. But unfortunately, yeah, because he panicked and trying to get away from up air, he landed right into the next DK up air. He was huge, brain. He would have witch timed. Most definitely, he would have witch timed. He would have afterburner kick. He would have done the. Um, he would have done the quarter circle afterburner kick, so you can get the the, the downward one. All right, that was clutch from Chucky Kong yet again. We're back on PS2. Kind of funny. I mean, he didn't die from the cargo throw up there, but that situation definitely happened because of the stick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, Frog knows what he's doing, man. Like I said, regardless of what you want to say, I've said it so many times, don't take Chunky to the stage. But there's a reason why Frog's got 95% here, and he's able to maintain that 95% to a 0% to his name, and with good JV stock, I would say. Big lead. All right. I would love for Frog to build on this lead as much as possible because he, he just got handed the keys to the city right there. Oh, he, he, should, he should push this as far as possible. Oh, no he has, he, and he has the character to do it too. Like, I know it's tempting to over the over but oh, damn. He's, a, he's dead again, damn. Oh, <laughs> damn. All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I think. I was gonna say he just rack up the safe percent and over it's doing bail, but uh, Frog, he just wants to kill. Yeah. After burn the kick, quick witch twist, double the witch twist here, gets the forward air, all the hits in. Looking for that landing, great Ooh, patience, nice. gets the whip punish too. Yeah, Frog playing really well right here. Down smash? Oh, okay, down air, okay. I'm a commentator bias, man, but this is where I want to see Chunky Kong see if he can turn things up here. Looking for a way to land, but Frog not letting this man breathe. He's playing this yeah, he's really, so well. he's getting stuck in disadvantage with the elite, but oh, there it is. <laughs> the upbeat of down there happens every time. Oh, oh man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dang, he got mind so trick. He was invincible still, I think. Yeah, he was still invincible. That's in why. Rock. It goes for the second up smash. Yep. I'm sorry, like, damn. Yep. I remember the person that would do that the most is uh, Rich Brown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm he with would, like, slopes, he man. Would, he would, like, come down from that platform with invincibility and then just do, like, a, a charge down smash with Mewtwo while he's invincible. And people <laughs> in their mind just, like, I'm going to hit him. He's, he's doing a move. And yeah. then... He'd be completely vulnerable, invulnerable, and he'll just punish them. Like the same thing that he just did. <laughs> when you think about the mindset on that too, most of the time it comes from like, okay, let me try, let me just try to jump and get around you two, right? Just to, after invincibility. But you usually don't account for the fact that like that invincibility. If you come off the angel platform, as soon as, as soon as you come out, you have more invincibility. The more you wait on the angel platform, the less invincibility you come out. So that's something to take note of here. It's a trip here yeah. on the on the double down tilt. Sorry, it's the uh, basically what we would call a reset. Yeah, I just like the awareness from Chucky to get that from a, a platform drop, jab block. I think it's impossible to tech if you fall off a platform like that. At least it was like that in Smash Team, other Smash Team. Right, no full cross up on the on the ABK. Going up the deep end. Yeah, see, you don't want to do that to Chunky, man. He knows where yeah. you're going to go, and the first time, Frog did it right. Go for that high recovery. Yeah, yeah right he's really there. good at covering low recovery with that drop zone back there. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is a great lead already. Oh, man. You want that early kill. The charge punch definitely would have done it to Bayo. Yeah, this is big for Frog. Save control. Another right. afterburner kick. Good. Good to come back. Yep. DK gets beat up by this quite a bit. Oh, nice. <laughs> the first you don't succeed, stuff. man. Try and try again. I think the longer you stay off stage, too, the less invincibility frames you get when you got yes. ledge. I think I'm thinking of that correctly. Yeah, you, you do. And the higher percent you are, the less invincibility frames you have on the ledge as well. Yeah, so that was actually a really good play from Frog, if that's true. Okay. Look at, look at Chucky Kong's positioning here. He is looking for that afterburner kick, and he gets the punish on that. He knows his bail options, and he sees the bail landing up air. This is big lead for Chucky Kong Frog. Moment to himself here. Use that timer. Oh. 
Oh, not enough height. Not enough height. Okay. We have a we have a game five, ladies and gentlemen. We have a game five. That was so clutch from Frog. He turned that around so quickly. And now yeah, we got the last stock in the game five. Let's see. Let's see who's more clutch right now. Frog's gonna get huge combo here. Exactly what you want with Bale. Especially if there's a character like DK is gonna get another one to the other side of the stage. Oh, there's a back there. Donkey Kong cannot land right now. Early, okay. early down smash. Early down. Oh, back up the stage. Back up the stage again. No guns, but Look he's at still that. at he's... the ledge. We don't want to be. Yep. Oh. oh. Okay. Early he's read, safe. Early read. He's safe from four smash. Oh, missed the tech. <gasps> Chunky. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, he almost died. He almost died. Oh no, but the, look at the percent though. Look at the percent. He Chunky almost paid kill. for his sins. Chunky Kong can kill. That was a really early wish twist off the stage. Oh. Sorry, wish time. And he's just throwing out <laughs> the back there. Okay, okay. No, frog. 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 Okay. Frog's fine. He tried to get a reverse edge guard, but look at the ledge he's at right here. Look at that play oh, from Chunky. Kill. He's taking he's a page out of frog. frog. He says, if you go for back air, I'll go for back air. Oh, there and it is. Frog gets I'll the final back, back air to take it, and he I'll takes game five. Oh, some back here. Oof. Man, that was so scary. Oh, man, that was... Ah, oh, teeth clencher. Jesus. Yeah, yeah.